working out. Huh? Going out real good. I'd be looking at the women at the web office, smiling, trying to hit on. They said, brother, mm -hmm. do you work for what? I said, no, I don't work. I'm just good looking and broke. Oh, good looking and broke. And I'm just hoping you get your check so I can live with you and you have your couple kids and cook and clean for me and let me be the boss and you can give me your check every week and next thing you do. And next thing you the know. The police escorted me oh, out of the welfare oh, okay. office and escorted me to a home I didn't want to go. Uh, what was that home? The Montgomery County Jail. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, well, they can, uh, that could be your home for at least uh, mm -hmm. a month or two, and then if you don't straighten up and fly right, mm -hmm. they might transfer you to another home. What home was that? The Dayton Workhouse. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I heard you gonna run for president in 2016. I'm thinking seriously of running for the presidency of the United States of America. I was given some some hope when I I saw that President Obama became president and was elected to that office not once but twice, and suddenly now. I have a dream, a dream that I believe can become a reality if I work hard at it and believe in myself. What about you? I believe that dream too. That's why in 2016, because Donald Trump's going, he put a million dollars in his election. Oh, He's going to find out why the people didn't vote for him last time. Mm -hmm. And Hillary Clinton's supposed to come back in there, right? Oh, yes. But uh, they don't know you coming in, right? They don't know yet. But dad's going to be run for president in 2016. See, Obama made a lot of black folks think they could be president. I was going to run for president until I saw Reagan got shot. And I said, I ain't going to run for president. Dad said, you didn't have a shares anyway. Did you you the gingerbread man. Did you realize? But he never said it, but I forgot that. Then Obama came off as a black folks guy. They said, oh, we got a chance to be on everything in America. I said, well, finally everything. And don't let my dad going to be president. The first thing he going to do, he going to go to Kim Kardashian. He gonna go ahead and raise the baby that Kanye West made for us. Say Kanye West, he gonna make a law that he uh, was drunk driving, gonna make him have 15 years in prison. So he can have his woman for an extra 15 years. She gonna be the first lady, Kim Kardashian, with the president uh, David Woods, Reverend Woods, for one. He gonna make a law that the living room comes the most popular place all over the city. So they gonna span. He like Casano's pizza, so Casano's pizza. He gonna make a deal with them. They be all over the nation, not just Ohio. He gonna have Kim Kardashian have him a beautiful young woman, and Kim Kardashian gonna make everybody go shopping because she like to shop. I heard she has a tendency to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I've also, aside from running for the presidency of the United States, I also have to come up with a plan mm -hmm. to generate a lot of money to meet my expenses That's right. as the President of the United States. And part of that would be providing the necessary money to keep my First Lady mm -hmm. accustomed to the things she's grown accustomed to. That's right, she's a expensive lady. I hear that. And they got to get her head done, nails done, buy everything she wants. He have his pretty Kardashian woman. Next thing you know, but the problem is the mama gonna be looking at you. You gonna have her eyes on you. Say I'm 57 years old and you're 70 years old. There's a whole other lady. You have a nice day. That's his way of kind of brushing you off. Well, you have a blessed day. Cause they have a couple of babies with Kim Kardashian. So the whole family be the Woods Kardashian family. And then her dad come out the grave and say, Hold on, you mess with the gingerbread man like that. And his other daughter mess with gingerbread man. She probably can't give him out the dough because he ain't making no more money. He used to have them lips all over uh, Kim Kardashian's sister. I ain't never seen a black man's lips go out that far. He was in love with that woman. The next thing you know, he came from the Lakers to Dallas. Then he went to, uh, what's that little dicky team he got on the Lakers? Uh, Clippers. Uh, the Los Angeles Clippers or something. Mm-hmm. Chloe and Lamar, now I don't see the reality show, them two little birds to get out here. She about to try to voice the man for $11 million, but I, when he on the show, you better see him. Mm -hmm. Dad said, hold on a minute, I'm going to make a law now since I'm prison. I get to marry all the Kardashian daughters. I ain't just happy with one. I want every last one of them. He watched the show every week, just days. He watched them two hours straight. And then when he watched it with the baseball team, he said, I'll turn the channel, I'll turn right back. With the Kardashian show, he watched with that. He going to marry Kim Kardashian. Chloe Kardashian and the other sisters. After a while, he gonna make a law that's legal. He gonna read the Bible. And say, I know there's a verse there where you have three women instead of one. Cause I'm the latest man. I ain't satisfied with one Kardashian. I want all the Kardashians. 
Well, uh, I I can dream, I guess. No, you're the president. You can do what you oh, want to do. You, go, you own the, the United States. You can make a law. I'm the president. Oh, I forgot. For a moment, I forgot. They got a nerd to go ahead and spend $60 million a month on the troops, mm -hmm. on the war, right? They could be sent, spend $60 million on the poor folks, and there won't be no more pride, because if everybody got a couple million dollars in their pocket, ain't nobody going to rob or kill nobody. Everybody going to fall in love. Everybody going to read the Bible every day. It's going to be PG all over America. They say, uh, America is a very nice country. Everybody going to be reading the Bible. He going to make a law. Everybody got to have a Bible. Say, praise the Lord every day. He going to go to heaven, the Lord. I think the Lord going to make him go to heaven for that. What do you think? Well, it's a possibility. It's food for thought. And yes, David. It's, it's good to know that we are Americans and mm -hmm. living in the land of opportunity. So my dad run for president. Guess then you know at the dad run for president, uh, you'd be there for like what two thousand. You'd be there for eight terms, right? What for year two would that terms. be? Two terms. So what year would that be after you get out? Uh, Sixteen to I would get out of office in twenty twenty. Four, I believe. 2024, right? Next day, no black folks are here. Two more presidents. Hold on. Next day, no the gingerbread bus start coming all over the place. People from Africa will be getting green cards. I'm gonna be president of the United States. Hold on, man. People, American people, like hold on a minute. <laughs> we had one or two, but we don't want three or four. <laughs> four more. That's enough for that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Next day, no they shut the White House down. <laughs> I'm tired of looking at them gingerbread bus at the White House. They come from all the way from Africa, get the green car like this, <laughs> running for office. They said we did, we was nice one or two times like Miss America, and then that was it. We got a little too greedy. We give black folks a kid. We eat the whole kid. Okay, my brother, man. We gave you two turns, two black presidents. Now you want another? <laughs> and well, I'm sure that the American people will judge a person. <laughs> on his qualifications and if they believe that he can lead the country mm -hmm. in the right direction. Yeah, these are all jokes. I'm just making jokes. This would be funny. But I'm glad you're clarifying that. that yeah, that, that, this would just be funny. Uh -huh. This is called urban humor. Oh, okay. And if you ain't urban and you're a learner, the humor wants you to keep laughing at the joke and you start catching on to these jokes because these are all jokes. Yes. Uh -huh. Like uh, I like to uh, go in a woman's house and put my crusty feet in her house and, don't, and sometimes I like to put my feet in her house, right? Yes. And then tell her that I'm the boss. And I, and I tell her, and I always, before I do that, I unplug her phone so she can't call 911. And that would be a good <laughs> idea to do because if anything can upset a woman, mm -hmm. it's to t be told that she's not the boss, but you are the boss. You're the boss. You're trying to wrestle that title away from her. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you may have problems. I got problems now. I tell women I'm the boss, and then I go ahead and ask for the bunk cookies. I told this one lady. Mm -hmm. I said, I have, my girlfriend ain't treat me right. Now. I said, I get, uh, I ask for the milk and cookies, and I don't take on dates and spend no money. She laughed at me so hard. She about fell down the grass. She said, You don't spend no money. I said, No money. Now no money. Well, that's that's a a topic that can is very sensitive mm -hmm. to many women. Mm -hmm. They don't want to feel that you're misusing them and mm -hmm. getting something for nothing. Well, I was going to go with this. The woman got me so in love with the right Oh, you're, you're in love now. Did I start printing fake money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just to keep my woman. The police said, what are you doing with making this kind of the money? You know you're going to do life in prison. I said, hold on a minute. Have you ever fell in love before? I'm making this one to keep my woman. And then she go to my trial and say, I never met this gingerbread man. Get out of my face. You mean to tell me she would... Deny knowing you? Mm-hmm. Cause she thought it was she thought I was earning that money. I told her I was a big time oh, lawyer, but I was printing the money right. in the basement, and I printed the money right next to the police station. I was so dumb. <laughs> well, you're paying for your stupidity, I mm -hmm. guess. But uh, for a moment or two, you you were in heaven, weren't you? In heaven. Or I thought you were in heaven. I had the most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, the most beautiful. She woman. looked like uh, Beyonce. Oh, beautiful yes. woman. Beautiful, my beautiful black princess queen. Everything I want. Everything you want. I had wanted. that print. I was printing that money machine every all day until I accidentally printed the money machine of George Washington. They made a bomb a picture by me. They said, "Hold on, man, this is some fake money, my brother." I know Obama president, but the gingerbread man ain't never been on the dollar bill. Next thing you know, the police took me right to jail. That was the thing that was your downfall. Mm -hmm. It led to your downfall. It led to my downfall. Got a little too greedy. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when a man 
falls in love, he, he has a tendency to begin to make mistakes. Uh -huh. And in your case, that mistake is going to cost you 20 to 30 years out of your life. Uh -huh. Trying to prison fake money. And trying to manufacture your own money. That's right. These are all jokes, police, so don't arrest me because I ain't got the machine to make the money and I wouldn't do it anyway. Uh -huh. I'm making you laugh. Okay. And then also, I like to us to have a woman president. I think the whole, like after you get our term, we'll be a president, we should have women president for the rest of our lives because, man, we done ran the whole country down. You know what I'm saying? It's wars everywhere. You know how women are. Let Kim Kardashian be the president. So you come president your real wife. So oh, you can be okay. the first man president because we ain't never had that before. And she went to office, and then when she about to argue with, like, uh, Germany, uh, China, mm -hmm. and Russia, it'd be all women presidents, right? Oh, so they ain't okay. going they, they to do like a man drop the bomb on nobody. Women are a little bit different from us, right? Okay, so in a, in a way you're saying that I should follow the advice that Bill Clinton mm -hmm. uh, tried to follow and his encouraging wife. his wife to run for the highest office in the land, mm -hmm. the presidency of the United States. Yeah, the country would be better. Because, see, women, right, see, men might drop the bomb on us, right? Mm -hmm. But, like you said, if America get into it with uh, Iraq or uh, Russia or anything, mm -hmm. first thing they do, your wife Kim Kardashian, right? She, oh, she be yes. on her sixth baby with you because you know how you are. Yeah. Because yeah. you love kids. I do. And she been her sixth baby. And then when they put that makeup on, they said, instead of arguing with each other, they like, girl, did you get your hair done? Did you get your nails done? Is that the outfit you got on? You know, women criticize each other like mm -hmm. that. And then they, and they say, well, uh, a man come in and say, won't you go ahead and drop the bomb on a woman? Say, hold on, man. She got kids in there. That's right. That's she right. She going to be thinking about them kids. So women ain't going to have to drop no bomb. Men's out there and they say, oh, yeah, drop the bomb on everybody. That's but they, right. But a woman, she going to think about the kids because they're a little bit more sympathetic. And then they had a nerve to talk to the girl on the phone. You said, like, the uh, American president, your wife, would talk to the uh, China president woman and the Russian, Russian president woman. We make sure all the toilets is clean. See, I don't like going to men's restaurant. I go in there and walk right out. I say, is this real? I walk in there and be all kind of accidents in there. Women, they walk in our restaurant, they'll never date men. They turn into lesbians. <laughs> they said, I ain't going to mess with these nasty men. <laughs> My mother said, men can't be that nasty. My man different. I said, your man like any other man. Sometimes men walk out, don't wash their heads, and kiss their woman. I said, man, go ahead, wash your heads before you kiss your woman. And women see how the men, that's why when men get married, they get married. They said, she said, you let the toilet seat up there again. I said, that's right. She cleaned that bathroom, she'd be so mad, she'd be signing divorce papers. Didn't know he was like that when she first met him. See, if women would have went to the men's restroom in the get and go, she would have seen how men are. Men, we look at the women's restaurant, we got couches in there, perfume. They said, we ain't got that in here. What well, men's going to do sitting in the couch and say, well, what you going to do there? I don't know. I don't feel comfortable sitting right next to you on the couch. Stuff don't feel you right about this. <laughs> you a little bit too comfortable for <laughs> me on the couch. And, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and women talk about their problems. They say, like a women, they go to the bar and say, and the man left me and treated me wrong. Start crying. Let a man do that. You know my woman left me and treat me right. Man, just look at them like this. And man, you gay as up. What's wrong with you, brother? No talk to me about that. He might get the five and say, so show a little bit of weakness. That's right. And to the Americas, the State of the Union of America, and, and to know what's happening out there and how we're, we're looking forward to having the good times continue to be a part of our life. What's your...